Welcome everyone for the first video of the Patient Zero mission in Hokkaido, the last mission of the Patient Zero campaign. This one will cover Needlework, Inferno, Piano Man, Tasteless Traceless, Hold My Hair, Someone could hurt themselves. Straight shot. And containment. For this one, we'll just bring a silenced pistol, our fiber wire, and an emetic syringe. Welcome to Let's get started right out of the cutscene. We'll go into this room and grab the coin. And we'll run down the stairs all the way across to the other door over here. We'll take a left and go into the morgue area. Once we're in here, let's wait for that doctor to walk up to the exam table. Toss a coin right over in the corner over there by the closet. Let's go ahead and knock him out. Be sure to grab your coin, and we'll hide his body. And let's take his disguise for a little bit easier movement. Watch out for any of the enforcers that are in here. We'll go right behind this doctor that's and grab this biolab suit that's on the floor. Now for easy containment, the first person that gets infected is the nurse that's actually walking down this staircase right now, so we'll distract her down here. It's just this way, Mr. Cage. And Owen Cage should be on the way to meet Klaus Liebleed right now. Once she's knocked out, let's go upstairs to the next level. Be careful of Klaus because he is an enforcer against the biolab disguise. Well, let's go in here. We'll make a save right behind this guy before we do anything else. We'll knock him out. And as long as both of them are still standing there, we can hit this button. That will incinerate both of them. And get us the Someone Could Hurt Themselves and Inferno challenges. Target eliminated. Well done, Professor. No one else is infected. We've managed to contain the virus. Head for an exit as soon as you can. Now let's go ahead and load up our save. Now from here, let's go run upstairs. Now from here, let's go run upstairs and we'll do a few things to prepare for our next challenges. First thing being, we'll get this roaming guard out of here. So let's come into this room and toss a coin to get him in here. Place it a little further back to make him walk back into the room a little bit further just to be out of the line of sight of the surgeon and guard that are in the other room next to us. But once he's in here, let's go ahead and knock him out, grab his gun, grab your coin, and drag his body over to this side of the room. Be sure to drop the gun. And next we can take out this roaming doctor. We'll get her into this stairwell here. Oh. Easy, boy. It might take you a few tries. She does kind of respond to coins a little Klaus weird and different. Cage. From the looks of him, it's a miracle he's still alive. Uh. <laughs> this sucks. 
Once she's down on the flat platform down here, we can go ahead and knock her out. And now drag her up onto the stairs, just so nobody down there through the glass door can see her. And now we will wait here until Klaus Liebleid announces that he wants Owen Cage back into the surgery room. Engineer, the virus will replicate at a slower rate, perhaps. The team in Shanghai worked on that. He will do that the second time he is standing in front of that laptop that's on the table. Once he goes back over to the laptop for the second time, let's just go hang out right behind him. Wow, this thing works fast. It's even more contagious than I first assumed. At this rate, an accidental infection could cause a site-wide outbreak in hours. Probably even less. Whoever engineered this thing wasn't concerned about longevity. Spread fast, kill quick. Good for... Now, once he stands back, he will call for Owen Cage. Dr. Liebleid here. I'm ready to see Mr. Cage in the inspection room. Once he's finished with that dialogue, go ahead and poke him with our emetic syringe. Klaus should be on his way to the toilet right about now. We'll go ahead and toss a coin so we can get around this Enforcer Biolab guy. What? Once Klaus is in here, let's go ahead and make a save right behind him. And the first thing we'll do is use our fiber wire to get the Piano Man challenge. Target kill confirmed. Well done, 47. Time to wrap this up. Go ahead and load up our save. We'll whip out our pistol and shoot him in the head for the straight shot challenge. Target kill confirmed. Well done, 47. Time to wrap this up. We'll load up our save one last time. And now we will drown him in the toilet for an accident kill, so it doesn't matter if we leave his body laying around. And that will get us the Hold My Hair Challenge. And right when that's done, let's go ahead and take his disguise and pick up that safe key that's on the floor. Now we'll run back to the main surgery room. Owen Cage should just be entering right about now. Let's go ahead and follow him in and we'll take a left once we're inside here. Right over on the wall is the safe that we just grabbed the key for, and there is a lethal syringe in there. Once Owen Cage sits down in his chair, we will have a prompt a to inject him. Go ahead and do Engage. that with the syringe. And that will get us the needlework and tasteless traceless challenges. And once we're done there, we can go ahead and run down the stairs and outside to the snowmobile exit. No one else is infected. We've managed to contain the virus. Head for an exit as soon as you can. Very well done, 47. Owen Cage and Klaus Liebleid are both dead. 
and the Navazov virus has no chance to spread. Thanks everybody for watching. If you have any questions, requests, or comments, feel free to leave them down below. If you liked this video and found this video helpful, feel free to hit that thumbs up button. If you enjoy the content that I produce and want to keep up with any future videos or projects that I'm working on, go ahead and hit that subscribe button.